platform talking about the Barcelona ecosystem, and we talk about the conclusion of a report done and conducted by Mind the Bridge, and I would love to have with us Marco Marinucci to just share with us the uh, conclusions. Marco, whenever you want. Thank you. All right, how is everybody? We made it to six o'clock, so congratulations. Um, I'm Marco Marinucci, I'm uh, the CEO of uh, Mind the Bridge. We are an innovation advisor firm uh, that has been working in integration between startups and corporates for the last 16 years. We're based out of uh, San Francisco, uh, but we have our main headquarters for uh, Europe here in Barcelona. So one of the things that we do as an innovation advisor firm is to read how different ecosystems of innovation have been progressing and getting a sense of what are the main levers for uh, different regions to be um, on top of uh, uh, this very uh, com complicated marketplace. So this is a report that we are publishing today. Um, I'm going to give you a QR code at the end, so no need to take a lot of pictures if you want to get into the details. Um, and then we're going to have a little conversation with some of the corporates that have been uh, dealing with startups here locally in Barcelona. So I'm gonna, gonna start with a, a little uh, kind of chart of uh, where is Spain today with the economy, economy of startups. Um, and you can see here, you know, over the years, we have uh, definitely a peak in the craziness of 2021. If you remember, 2021 was the year where, you know, money was free. Uh, Spain, as most of the other countries, had had a peak in uh, investment, so we're looking at almost $6 billion of investment into the Spanish ecosystem, and slowly, with a slow, um, you know, decrease over the last couple of years, which is actually not as bad as, for example, what we're seeing in the Silicon Valley. So overall, uh, you know, following the macro trends of uh, the rest of the world, across the presentation, I'm going to use the term scale-up. Scale-up for us and, and for our report is a startup that has raised at least $1 million, right? So we're moving out most of the super early stage startups into the accounting because we want to also make sure that we're uh, comparing different ecosystems with the same similar metrics. So here are the number of scale-ups that we're counting. As you, as you can see in the lighter blue is 175 in, and uh, and. and and under 71, and then 69, and so forth. So, with that in mind, uh, very interesting to see that Barcelona stands out, uh, and Catalonia in, in general, uh, as the major hub across Spain. 42% of the scale-ups of Spain now are based in, uh, in Barcelona, and they uh, are attracted almost half of the capital that is coming to Spain uh, for the startup. So, definitely, Definitely a big, uh, um, um, a, a, a big uh, success. Um, separate from this, tomorrow actually we're uh, we're also launching a, a different report about uh, scale up Spain in general. We're going to maybe talk about a little bit about that, and this is the kind of the preview of that specific report. Back back to Barcelona. Those are some data points that we think are particularly interesting. Um, by definition, and, and I think we heard it a number of times in the presentation today, Barcelona has really positioned itself as the largest tech hotspot for Southern Europe. In terms of uh, ranking, it's today considered to be the fifth best new ecosystem for launching the startups. It's the second preferred hub for founders. We're going to see why. Uh, and in particular for international founders, we have, we're counting seven unicorns today hosted in Barcelona and seven soon-to-be unicorns. We have almost 2,000 startups, 1,700 here uh, in, in, the, in the city, counting 409 scale-ups, so startups that are a little bit more mature that have raised almost $9 billion in total. How does that uh, place uh, across the kind of the competition across of Europe? So Barcelona today is the fifth largest innovation hub if we consider these metrics, right? This metric is, again, light green is the number of scale-ups and blue, the blue line is the amount of funding that comes with that startups. Fifteen Barcelona scale-ups uh, now have raised more than $100, $100 million. As you can see, 
Barcelona today just plays in after uh, very aggressive hubs like Stockholm, Berlin, Paris, and London. Back into the deep dive of the flow of capital into uh, into this, you know the tech local tech ecosystem in Barcelona. Again, similar flow as we've seen before for Spain. Here, I don't know if you can see it's pretty small, but we do have some. Uh, you know, examples of big funding rounds that, uh, that we've seen uh, locally here. So the global, for example, probably the largest in 2015. But then the, the curve is really following all the curves of uh, the major investment ecosystem in the world. Having said that, one very interesting uh, study that we have just launched in Paris uh, a few days ago, uh, in fact, uh, last Thursday, is to place all the different ecosystems, all the different regions of the world into a curve. And the curve is uh, really a representation of the maturity and the, the uh, interest of different regions, with the definition of region as the main city and the, uh, you know, the land around the main city, uh, also in a, in a progression curve, not just for the number of scale-ups and, and capital, and then we're also going to see in the, with a time variable, so how over time we're expecting those ecosystems to, to move across these different stages. The stages that we put together are four main ones. So let's start from the kind of the, the stars of the world, right? In, in the world of uh, startups, there is our Silicon Valley, obviously, that is playing in kind of a, in a separate, separate uh, uh, game with Israel and uh, London and uh, New York and Beijing. Those are what we call uh, what the supernova stars in, in, the, in the universe of uh, ecosystems. And there you start seeing uh, kind of the second tier in the Boston of the world and the Paris of the world. Barcelona today is placed in the area that we call the, the, the scale-up phase of, uh, of an ecosystem uh, um, with, uh, again, 419 uh, scale-ups. Uh, and it's, today is right after, with this accounting, right after Sao Paulo or uh, places like uh, New South Wales, that is a region around, around Sydney. So in a very, I think, very interesting position overall, even more interesting, according to our uh, data point, is that we see Barcelona potentially in the next two years to move next uh, into the next layer. Uh, so. So to become into what we call the late scale-up phase, surpassing um, you know cities as we saw before, like uh, like Sydney or or Sao Paulo, and there are a number of reasons for that. We're going to talk about this also in the panel, but definitely one of the main reasons is that Barcelona is such an international hub. You're going to heard it. We heard it uh, pretty much all, all day today, and this is definitely uh, um, accelerating the, the natural flow progression that ecosystem has. What are the tech specialties of the region? Um, here you see again, in a ranking phase, number of scale-ups in green and in dark uh, blue is the amount that is uh, associated with those verticals. Uh, there is definitely the, the business productivity um, and historical also a lot of uh, uh, e-commerce. But it's interesting to see how in the last few years, Barcelona has become also a big hub for deep tech. Uh, this is, I think, an interesting new proposition. So there's a lot of health tech coming, coming uh, this way. Uh, uh, logistics is also a big, uh, a big area of development, as you can see here from, from the charts. This is probably the key elements that we heard it before. Actually, let me ask here among, the, among you guys, how many people here in the audience have not, was not born in Spain? Raise your hand. It's amazing the, the amounts of hands that are up. So that's actually, I think, uh, also uh, seen here in this chart. So today, through our accounts and through, through this data source of Axio, we're counting almost 5,000 people that international talent that moved to Barcelona to work in, in the innovation industry. There is one out of five founders of startups that is not, in, not Spain, Spain born. And one of the, out of four of employees of startups that was not born here, okay? And actually, I mean, in our case, we decided to move our headquarters of, uh, of uh, European operations to Barcelona. And I believe to date, we don't have a single person is actually from Barcelona. Everybody else is coming from all different places. And that makes, I think, this place probably the most interesting uh, hub specifically, specifically for that. 
it is, it's not just for startups, but it's interesting to see how uh, there is an, an increase of uh, seeing Barcelona as a hub for development and innovation of a, lar a bunch of large corporates. This is what we are counting today, 29 of uh, what we call the global leaders, so the, the Fortune 500 and Forbes 2000, plus other 67 of companies that you see here and growing are deciding to move their some operations of digital transformation, development of innovation in this very city. Why is this, uh, uh, you know, relevant uh, and, and also kind of for a quick introduction of the next panel? One of the main lever to grow an innovation ecosystem is to be able to integrate the traditional industries with the industry of startups, with the industry of innovators, and that's what Open innovation is all about. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, I mean, if you once you see the report, you're gonna see a number of uh, case studies of this very integration, and that's what we see. Uh, you know, local companies to do more and more, and this is what we're gonna talk in the panel in a minute. Just to prepare some of the ground of uh, of the panel, this is our own methodology of breaking down different actions of open innovation units with things that are different in nature and different in, the, in, in measuring and with different KPIs. So again, between the wide range of definition of uh, open innovation, going from the right hand side, m and is definitely you know, the most advanced integration you buy the startups. There is an investment, so the CDC, the corporate venture capital is definitely one area that we're gonna talk about. And then there are a number of uh, other, what we call uh, implementations of open innovation activities, they may or may not include an outpost into international hubs, may or may not include uh, the idea of having a venture client, so the integration, you know, through partnership of startups and corporates, innovation labs, or programs of uh, entrepreneurship. All those need to be well integrated within the organization, the plans, and the culture. So again, this is kind of the model that we're going to use in a second while. Uh, we interview the panelists here uh, on stage. Last but not least, uh, again, if you're interested in some good examples and case studies of integration uh, that have just happened uh, lately between some of the corporates that you see listed and the startups here in Barcelona, we have uh, 11 feature case studies uh, with details of what happened, what was the, the you know, measurable result going to have uh, three of them actually here on stage, so we'll be asking specific questions about these very cases here. With that, all is left is a QR code, so if you have an interest in those details, uh, feel free to download it. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Marco. Uh, I think let's give them a bit of room so that they can uh, manage all this. By the way, on, on the info you said, I was just uh, writing down some of the, the items. But Boston is the prime, premier tech hub, but in Southern Europe with 40, 42%, I think it was like the 409 major scale-ups, which is exactly huge. And, and you said something interesting, which is the theory, but I would like to get into practice. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you were talking at the end of the session about open innovation, and that's why I think today they should join you. Four more people 